everyone I know it's been a couple days since I put out a video I wanted to give you all a uh, there we go give you all an update on what's going on with the channel so I have a few projects at the moment first off is we have this orbit 2 synthesizer which I showed you in an earlier video which was a part of the organ which is non-functional now I've taken out most of this synthesizer it's pretty nasty um, I still got to get more of the power transformer and the power switch out but then once that out once that is out uh, it's all out <laughs> I'm just gonna have to build a new case for just this synthesizer but based on the way it's laid out I'm gonna have to make a humongous case but we're gonna do it it's gonna be crazy hopefully it'll work when we're done so but that's not all I'm doing I want to show you one more thing hold on a second sorry I'm still <laughs> working on cleaning this place up it's a mess but it's been raining non-stop basically so I haven't had a, well a way to just take stuff out to Goodwill or whatever but there's also this so what is this so basically what I've been working on is you know the horrible <laughs> Akai Timberwolf that everyone makes fun of is like the worst modern synthesizer so I thought, you know, why not give this thing some love? Why not expand it to something it could have been? Now, what's crazy about this, what I've, I've I found, that there's actually a shortcut almost built into this. So do you see these little holes? These little holes, on e these is, this is like each voice. Voice one, ch -ch, voice two, ch -ch, voice three, ch -ch, voice four. They're identical. You don't want to mess with this because this is just all the outputs and stuff. You just don't want to really mess with that board at all. But, um, and this is all like sequencer lights and stuff, and a lot of these are like the potentiometers you don't even really want to mess with. But anyways, anyways, what about these dots? So, what I found at, <laughs> what I found is, it's almost like, um, think of like a VCS3. You know, it has those really tiny, that really tiny uh, patch point system where it uses almost like wires to patch. That's almost like what this is. If you patch these to other holes, you get some really cool stuff. But it has to be touching the side of the hole because that's where the contact is. If you just stick it straight in, it won't work. So if you were actually going to patch it, you need slightly bigger than these. You'd actually probably need the size of the cables used in the VCS3. But anyways, you wouldn't really. <laughs> you need to have this open and upside down to patch. So what I thought is, okay, why don't I just make those patch points bigger? So, out of all these holes, I'll show you. Those two top ones you don't really want to mess with, but you got one, two, three, four. Those two you don't want to mess with either. So, we really got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got, you got like 11, um, if I counted right, 11 patch points that you can do cool stuff with. Also, on this chip, if you see I marked it that top third leg also that you can do that too but if you want to just stick to the holes that's what I recommend and there's also a weird patching thing where you can patch that hole right there to this but it just gives it a little bit of overdrive but patching them to each other actually doesn't give you that cool effect it's mostly just within one voice so what I'm going to do is create 11 um, patch points for each voice and how I'm going to do that is, uh, you see the side? You see, I bought this without the sides. Now, most people would have been like, well, you know, why would you buy one that was just missing the sides? Well, see, I was thinking ahead here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to want to drill here anyways because there's not really any room to put anything. So what I'm going to do is, for, you know, voice 1 and 2, it's going to have 11 patch points for voice 1, 11 patch points for voice 2 on here. And then vice versa on this side for uh, three and four. Now the only issue that I have run into is this plastic is actually extremely thick. Like it is this thick all the way through. And if I use this size, uh, one fourth, it still is not won't even go all the way through. But if I use one fourth, I won't be able to fit 22 patch points. So what I'm gonna have to do is find one eighth inch jacks 
that have extremely long, for lack of a better term, necks. I'm going to have to find ones that have, like, necks that are super long to go through this whole thing. So I'm going to have to order some really custom patch, um, really custom sockets. I don't know how I'm going to have to do some research to actually find some with a, for lack of a better term, neck that is that long. Which I don't think is going to be easy at all. Because there's not really enough room on the front plate. Plus, I don't want to just mess up the front plate. If I put all of these patch points on the side, it'll allow you to keep the front plate clean and nice. That's my goal with this bin. Let's see here. What else? Uh, what's I gonna talk about? Well, that's about it. So yeah, gonna do some research looking for those. Now, if I can't find any, I might have to find a workaround. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do exactly yet, but it's gonna be interesting. Now, I also thought about the bottom. The bottom is a lot thinner, and I could put a lot more. What I might do, if I cannot locate long enough ones for this. I might put them all in the bottom of this and then build like two leg stands for um, like you know where it's basically where it sits that'll be two leg two maybe wooden legs or whatever that raise it up like that much or however so you can actually go underneath and patch it I mean that'll be really awkward but it might be what I have to do I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but basically this is gonna be a semi modular Timberwolf and I, I, I normally wouldn't make an advanced video like this but I don't know how long, long it's going to take me to source parts and get this done but I do want to give you all a brief demo just just a short example of what you can get just a little bit so first off let's hear a mono voice normally and I'm going to play the same patch the whole time if it gets annoying I'm sorry now I know you hear that fans on I'm going to turn that fan off now so you can get a better, uh, you can hear it a little bit better. Now I actually need that to stay warm, but for the sake of this video I will turn it off for a few minutes. It's going to take a minute to cut off. But anyways, what we're playing this through is a garbage, absolutely garbage Yamaha J10 amp. Uh, it's just going to have to do for the moment. But anyways, I'm sorry this is a mess. So, but anyways, while I'm waiting for these parts to source, I might just go ahead and finish this little keyboard up here, maybe do some mods to it. But the way they've made it, they made it like when you open it up, it doesn't want to stay on because the way the mechanisms are hooked up to each other. So it's going to be really hard to mod. That's why I've waited so long, but I might do that while I'm waiting. But anyways, yeah, this is going to be fun. Now, if you can see the X and the X and the zero and the zero, or the circle and the circle, those are some of the first bins I found. But there's a lot more. Basically, almost all of these circles to each other can do something. Maybe one or two, maybe three combinations will just stop the audio, but most of them do something. Um, right there, uh, which one is that? A weird one is... Um, well, and there's some multiple patch combinations that give you some weird results too. Okay, now it's off. Now let's hear it. So this is our basic sound. Alright, so we have a square wave going, right? Some resonance, not too much. A little bit of filtering. This is going to be kind of hard to do one-handed. So first off, we're going to do what I call the... What, what is the weirdest um, bend on here? The circles of the circle. It is by far the weirdest bend that actually gives like, you know, usable results. I found some that just kind of garbled the sound, but they're not even worth doing really. So we're going to patch our circle to our circle. Now I have to make sure it's connected. Hold on. Right. I know you already heard a little bit of it. Very difficult to do it like this. Let's get it behind this one right here. Now we have that in there. Now you know this is the rhythm wolf, right? 
I found this weird way to actually make it howl. If we connect these two, if we connect those two dots while this one's plugged in. Let's try this. Okay. I'm sorry, like I said, this is extremely difficult one-handed. So be patient. My main, my main camera has been ruined, so I'm going to have to source a new one. This is just my phone. It sounds a little better on some other settings, but for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it simple. So now let's do this. Let's, uh, hold on a second. Now doing this one causes us to keep the sound, but only in certain pitches. See? Handed is pretty crazy, folks. It is pretty insane. Hold on, let's just set this down for a second. There we go. Notice we're getting that that little slide, the high pitch slide. That's due to this bend. When both of these bends are in conduction, in conjunction, we get that high pitch bend. Now I'm gonna take this one out. I want you to hear the difference. Wait. Well, I'm out in there pretty good actually. There you go. So you're not hearing it now, and then. hearing it again. Now we can do some further crazy stuff, even while this is on. This is going to be really hard. I'll have to set this down again. But while these two are in, I'm just going to patch another brief little thing. Just a brief little something. You can do a lot more, but it's like hard to do without actually having some patch cables, as you can tell. Let's see if I can get this like this. I should. Well, that's what I should have done in the first place. But we we all learn from our mistakes, right?
when we do X to X. Hold on a second. X to X is, I think, would be the only one that actually might um, benefit from a potentiometer rather than a uh, actual patch point. But I might not do that, so I want to actually give you a demo of what that might sound like. But I might decide to do that, but I might not. So let's do X to X. I right, notice how we're getting that little bit of a little beat going in there with it. Now let's tweak it some. that way for now. There's not there's not really a change when you change the waveform. And even with that patch, we can tweak it a little bit. Ooh, 
went crazy. <laughs> Some interesting stuff, as you've heard. Well, I think that might be enough for now, right? It's good enough demo. Phone went flying. But what if we threw in, we did this in unison? I wonder what that sound like. Not as much of an effect in unison, though. Polly? So, there you go. Brief demo of this awesome thing, which is going to happen. Now, what I just did there at the end is we had this in poly, and I actually patched some other um, voices, and we actually did get some cool results. So, yeah. This is going to be a big undertaking, because in total, this is going to have 11, you know, it's going to have 44 um, little patch points we're going to have to work on. Uh, I think I can do it. Well, I know I can do it, but just, like I said, f deciding on, okay, I had to find a long enough thing to go on the sides of this, which I really want to do. But if I can't find that, then I'm going to have to put them in the bottom. And if I put them in the bottom, well, I'm going to have to build, like, a stand for it to be on, so I patch them underneath. But that'll be just weird. I don't know. We'll figure this out, Okay. But anyways, thank you for stopping by, and it might be a, a few days again before I make a video, just FYI. So, sorry about that. But if I do another one, I might do that video of that little thing getting bent. 
But anyways, if you like the stuff I do, I do sell my stuff. Um, just leave a comment below if you are interested in buying any of my stuff you've seen in the videos. If it's still available, I can send you the link. Uh, thank you for watching. Oh yeah, and if you are in another country besides the U.S. and you do want to buy something, just let me know and we can work out the shipping. I usually don't ship to other countries, but I, I can work it out, you know. It's just a little more work, and the shipping will be more, obviously. But, uh, see you guys, and thank you for stopping by. And if you like this, please like it. Share it with your friends. I'm trying to grow the channel. I know putting out stuff has been kind of slow. And, you know, quality hasn't been the best, but I just make videos in the moment sometimes. I don't really set it up to be kind of professional. Plus, my camera's broken. I'm recording on my phone. So that's going to really uh, lower the amount of videos I make. But anyways, thank you for watching this. And like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and see you next time. Oh, yeah, and share it. Share it with everybody. Send it to your grandmother, okay? All right, see you. Thank you for watching the video. Please share this with all of your friends and fellow synth nerds. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for future content. Hit that notification bell to never miss a video. Be safe everyone and always remember that Tunak Tunak Tun is the best song ever.